Filippo, uh, my name is Emilio Ricardo from Eagle News and Blog Talk Hollywood. Congratulations, Filippo, for um, being nominated for the, I mean, out of uh, over a hundreds of nominations, you made it. And how does it feel like when you finally, like, announce the nominations, when they uh, announce your film? <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's my first feature. So really, <laughs> so... It went much, much further than what I ever dreamed. So it was such a huge surprise, you know, you, you really, uh, uh, and, and then especially with the pandemic, I'm, I'm at home here and, and, you know, people just, they leave that by phone. And so somebody call you at the phone and just you, you, you close the, the phone and you're like, and you sit, sit down. It's like, oh, this is really happening. You know, it's, uh, it's a wonderful feeling. It's, it's such a huge surprise, you know, but yeah, um, of course it's, it's a, uh, I was so grateful. Did did it affect you uh, with the uh, pre-COVID or the pandemic uh, about filmmaking in your country? Share us. What do you mean? What happened with me? I mean, in, in yes. My... Share okay. us. Uh, did it affect you in filmmaking in 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 a way? And then share us. Um, and what did you do to cope with it? Well, you know, my my um, experience is that I was uh, traveling with this film. Uh, since uh, the first screening was in Toronto in September 2019. And so I had almost six months of like real life traveling with the film and, and I was traveling all the time, really like uh, I probably did 80 screening with the audience or something in different countries. So I was, you know, living in airplane and trains and, and, and the film was released in France three weeks before the first lockdown. And so it affected me, like I, the film was, I was in, in, in theater and I was in Belgrade for a film festival and I had to come back and, you know, be in a lockdown and, and then everything became virtual. Uh, so uh, I lost contact with, 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 the, with, the, with the audience somehow. And, and, uh, but I, I also, I was lucky and the film was very much alive in theater in France when they closed uh, the cinemas. So it did affect me in that way. And, you know, of course it wasn't, you know, you have all this trip uh, uh, ready to, you know, planning. I had to come to the States uh, for the release and, and I was really happy about it. And then, you know, everything happened. But, but you know, I, I had so many friends that had uh, much uh, bigger trouble with, with, with the pandemic, you know, lost their jobs or, or so. So, uh, you know, I, I, I have to say I, I'm very lucky because somehow the film went on existing even in the virtual uh, fashion you know so so at least it it you know it, it, it had an impact but uh, lighter somehow than so on so many people that i know so so uh, yeah I, I, that, that's well I, said uh flipo and uh, now um having said that with making your your film two of us why this uh, kind of film and what challenges did you face making this film <laughs> Well, uh, why this kind of film is because of there, there are personal reasons. I mean, uh, it started out of uh, the idea of giving an homage to, to people that I, that I know and that were important in my life since they are the people that pass on to me the passion for cinema. Uh, and then uh, I also felt that it was the kind of representation that was lacking, uh, you know, uh, two women uh, that love each other and they are in their almost 70 and, and, and they love and live to to his fullest uh, life to his fullest and and i don't see that much uh represented in in in, in cinemas and and around uh and so for me it was important as a filmmaker i have the responsibility of representing the world in its complexity and and you know and giving an honest representation of that an honest representation of age 
and the actresses were brave enough to let me do that and and to be part of it and yeah you know it's uh, I, I really have a problem with with, with, the, with the obsession we got in the society with, with beauty and perfection of the body and so I uh, I, I wanted to, to show that you can be beautiful at 70 years old with the wrinkle and everything. And, and, and I guess the actress are charming and beautiful in the film. And that was one of the reasons I really felt that we needed to make this picture. And, and, and the challenge, there, are, there were so many challenges. It was an art film to finance. It took seven years. So I guess the, the challenge, the most difficult challenge was to, you know, live go through all the difficulties that that you know it's a first feature so i don't think first feature can be easy i think melville you know the french director said that the first feature you have to do it with your own blood so i think it's you know it goes like this for a lot of people and you know so so the the, the difficult thing for me was to go through all the difficulties we had financing shooting and so on and trying to to hold on to the core of what i wanted to do to try to hold on to, to the, the, the the very reason uh, I had in mind the very uh, the very the very core of the film and 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 that was uh, a real challenge but uh, now I see that the, those things are touching the audience in worldwide I mean because if we are the globe that I guess that is true and, and and that is such a gift that's well said now that you are um, nominated now your life uh, completely changed so what's next for you? Lipo. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? You know, I guess 2020 told teacher have teach me that that you cannot make any provision. You know, uh, forecasting is not is not that easy. But uh, we'll see. Uh, for sure, there are more films to come, and and I hope uh, next time is not gonna. Is, I hope this is not going to be as difficult as this one to finance. <laughs> and there will be, you know, I like to make. I like to make film. I love to make film. So. The only thing I want is to make more, and I, I still don't know exactly where I'm where I'm going. But uh, I guess it will be something uh, quite different because I, you know, I like to experience different things. Thank you so much, Filippo. Thanks to you. Uh, from a score that in the beginning reflected very much his his kind of you know street influence his gritty influence and slowly as Madame Rosa enters his heart so does an orchestra so does acoustic uh, instruments uh, and that's why you have such a broad kind of visual uh, such a broad music scape right from the street from these street beats in the beginning to by the end a full orchestral uh, a full orchestral score and it's a and it's a testament to Gabriel Yared's versatility uh, that we were able to achieve that. Well thank you and what's next for you Eduardo? Uh, you know what I am I am meditating on it and I'm reflecting on it and I do one thing at a time. Thank you so much Eduardo. Thank you.